Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays XCOM 2 for another Legacy Historical Mission. And this time I've been given a squad of five, no, six Archons to play with. So that's um, different. And looking at these guys, well, they're all going to be functionally identical, aren't they? Because they're, this, but they're, all, they're all identical units. And we have the Blazing Pinions attack, which we're uh, familiar with from single player, where they fly up into the sky and turn on some lights. And then a turn later, those lights turn into explosions. Um, I don't know how useful that's going to be against the enemies, because I have this feeling that they're probably just going to move around quite a lot. But we also, And we also have a shoot and a melee attack, which we'll use when we, whenever we get the opportunity. And apparently the, uh, the weapon of choice is this big stick thing, which comes with four ammunition. So, we've st we're starting off in concealment, as usual so I think that means it the, it's going to be advantageous to charge forwards as far as we can that we have seven turns to get to uh, somewhere to get to this this laptop that's been left conveniently on a balcony um, and then and, and, uh, and hack it and that will get us there and that'll be a, that will allow us to complete the mission and it's quite a long way to go so I think moving quickly is the uh, the order of the day here especially as, as, as stated we are currently in concealment so let's see. We want to go basically this way. So let's charge over here. And I think Archons are probably one of those large units that don't really benefit from cover. So there's no point in worrying too much about cover. Oh, and there's a squad, but there is a squ squad of enemies over here. We've got Chrysalids and Berserkers. So I think we're probably best off trying to keep them at arm's reach. Let's bring them up here. And since Archons can fly. We can just do that nice and easily. Let's, in fact, let's bring them all up here because I think the aerial advantage is going to be uh, very, very worth it. It's just a shame about that one down there on the ground. And I've learned from previous ones of these missions that whilst it is um, it is advantageous to charge in there reasonably quickly and not waste time, um, because you get more points the the, uh, the fewer turns you complete the mission in. It, you don't want to charge too quickly towards the um, the objective and leave a load of enemies behind you because that'll get you in trouble. That said, it looks like we might not we might not get a good visibility from up here. Uh, they might have retreated far enough into the building that we can't see them. But let's have a quick look. Nope, looks like from up here they are they are invisible. So what if we move this guy forward to say to here? Because these are all melee units. So if I take a pot shot at one of them, they're probably all going to come charging out, and I can then reposition my upstairs units to try and oh, there's another squad over there. All right, let's wake up this squad first. And we'll go for the Berserker first. Cause no, we'll go for a Chrysalid first because it's got less health. I think that's probably wise. There we go. That's a good... Oh, and we do shredding damage with the Archons as well. Nice. So that's revealed him. That pod is now alert. The Berserker is so excited the car vanished. And they're coming running towards us. So... From here now, what, what can we do? Well, we've got this guy up at the front here who somehow can't see anything that's that's terrible all right we'll, we'll choose a different one then where, where can we get to and also see the see the enemies nowhere all right let's try and do a blazing pinions and see where I can do that we'll drop it on them now I don't think this is actually I don't think there's much of a chance of this actually hitting them because if I do this they're just going to move but it does get my guy over here it gets him it, it means I get to play with this new toy I've got Find out what, whether whether we can successfully blaze pinions from here or not. Oh, and we're virtually at the um, the access point over here. All right, in that case, let's run somebody over there. Maybe maybe this this guy up here. And if we can keep the archons up in the air like this, then they're going to be very very safe because all of the other enemies are melee units and they're not really going to be able to, realistically going to be able to get up here. So what? How about flying one of them over to here? <clears throat> this will put him in a really good position for next turn, where he's hopefully going to be able to. Just Shoot down, oh dear, we'll work on the second part. I mean, never mind. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. Chrysalids can jump. This might be this might be unfortunate. I guess we'll 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 see how this goes in the next turn. I think we're just gonna have to advance forwards. I, the problem is, no, I can't move to anywhere that's going to get a good hit on them. Let's put in another blazing pinions here. Based on my understand let's see, so you get they get a turn to move out of the way. And then I get a turn, to, and, and, and maybe it happens at the beginning of my next turn. So let's do the other one here, and then we won't hit this this um, Archon over here. So we'll fire, get him up into the air for another Blazing Pinions. Yep, just like that. And then we'll move this guy forward as well to, to here. If I move no, if I move him to here, he can't do anything. We'll, do a, we'll, we'll overwatch with anyone we can, um, but I don't think that's going to be very many. And we'll see what happens. So yeah, we've got two overwatches out of this. So that Berserker is on the move. We'll take a pot shot. 
Boom. Yeah, with the aerial, the height advantage, we're in quite a good position here. So we should get some decent hits on these guys. Like that. Um, and now Archons are very, very good at dodging. So hopefully, yeah, that'll happen. Basically. And is he going to attack as well? No, he's not. That one is... Oh, that got, a, that got a hit in. That's unfortunate. So we've now got a poisoned Archon. That's not great. Yeah, moving this Archon into position here was probably unwise, and I think he might be in trouble, especially as it's getting mobbed now, but absolutely mobbed by the Chrysalis. Oh, and it's dead. Okay, yes, that was a bad move. And now, as I say, Chrysalids, as I, as I remembered slightly too late, Chrysalids can jump, and apparently they're rather good shots. So that's um, not ideal. I guess we'll find out what happens. So there's, a blazing, there's the first Blazing Pinions. And there's the second one. And... I think we might have done a little bit of friendly fire there, which is unfortunate. Right, let's get this Archon away. We'll move over here as quickly as possible. Um, ideally, actually, let's move to here. And I reckon that... Mm, no, let's move to here. And then I think that Archon should be able to get up top in the next turn without any difficulty. And we'll com and then we'll complete the actual... Um, that part of the mission. So, now the rest of them. We need to we need to deal with, deal with all these enemies down here. What have we actually got at this point? So we have... Um, we have a chrysalid here that's virtually dead. We have a um, a berserker that's mostly dead, and another chrysalid that's mostly. Dead. So I reckon we can get we can get all three of those this this turn. Uh, so let's just start shooting. Let's take the uh, we, we, maybe we should go for the cocoon as well. Let's take the easy kill first. That one's at one health. Boom! Absolutely dead. I would like to keep all of my Archon just up in the air like this, but they don't seem to just stay in the air, which is probably may may well be a sort of a, a balance thing for for, for single player. Um, because if they did, they'd be incredibly hard to um, to fight because they just well stay up in the air all the time. Now, if we move over here with this one, unfortunately, still going to be in striking range of all of these guys. I think alerting two chrysalids at once or two pods at once, sorry, was was my mistake here, and this, this is why things are going a little bit unfortunately. I think. The Chrysalids are more dangerous than the Berserkers, so we'll take this one on, even though it's at full health. Like that, there we go. And then... It's very tempting. The Blazing Pinions is, would be fantastic, but it just, it just wasn't very effective against the last bunch. Uh, and somehow this guy can't see any, despite them being just, you know, right down there below him. Apparently somehow he can't see them, so that's frustrating. I guess we'd better move him down. I could put him on top of this bus stop, I suppose. Uh, and you get, he'd have a good view from there of basically everything. But the Chrysalids would be able to jump up next to him. I think we're going to need to do this anyway. Because we need we need to start, we need to do damage this turn. So where's the, there, there's an injured Chrysalid. Uh, no, no, it isn't. Sorry. There is an injured Chrysalid. Let's take it out. And I think, given that there's a cluster, still a cluster of them there, and there's the and there's the, the uh, chrysalid um, cocoon in the middle, let's drop another blazing pinions on it. And this gets this guy up here in the air, out of the way for the next for the next turn as well, which is a slight bonus, I guess. And there we go. So we get we get the light show. He's still poisoned from the chrysalids. That's very unfortunate. Um, we are going to drop a um, a blazing pinion directly on that that uh, spawner though. This guy's in trouble. Trouble. Okay, fortunately, yeah, as we discovered before, the Berserkers are not very good shots. The Chrysalids are by far the most dangerous enemies here. Um, that one did miss, granted, but still, they are uh, still dangerous. Uh, dodge there, that's... could be worse. And another Chrysalid. Oh dear, that one got a, a hit, a crit. A hit and a crit, so that's, um, that Archon is in trouble. It's angry now, which is perhaps a good thing. They've spawned another Chrysalid in, we've... But we have successfully blown it up and done some damage to this um, the spawner thing. Okay, you, I wanted. Oh, it's still a double move to get up there. That's annoying. Um, okay, well, I guess next turn we'll get the MacGuffin. So a melee attack does what? Six to nine, and a shot does seven to eight. Uh, so there's sl there's a chance of better damage with the uh, with the melee, but. Probably better with the uh, better better shooting, and uh, and the melee wouldn't take wouldn't take out the cocoon even if it does the nine. We're still we're still not going to be a kill, 
Um, <clears throat> so we might, we could take a shot at it. This is just going to spawn a new chrysalid every turn unless we wreck it. Could do another blazing. Oh, I don't know. Let's let's just shoot it. And oh, we got a crit, so that's now dead. Good. We're not going to get any more chrysalids spawning from there. Unfortunately, we have another poisoned one over here, which is uh, awkward. Uh, no. Switch, switch units. Right, you. Uh, okay, so what have we got? We've got, um, we've got a, a Berserker on 9, we've got a Chrysalid on 4, and another Chrysalid on 10. Let's take out the easy easy target. Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. Not that easy. To, that easy target. 85% to hit. Okay, what would we get with a melee attack? Seven, 78 to hit. Let's take the slightly higher probability, because it's going to be a kill either way. Okay, good. That is another Chrysalid down. So, we still have this one here that's on full health. We've got the two Berserkers who are slightly less worrying, but still a problem. Uh, so, let's try and take out the other Chrysalid. Chrysalids, as I say, are the absolute priority. I should have moved... Oh, I should have moved my um, Archon away before I uh, before I shot with it. Uh, that was a mistake. Fortunately, I've still got another shot from up here. We'll take out the final Chrysalid. And now we only have the Berserkers to worry about. So... That is a significantly better position to be in. We're not going to get any more poison attacks. And the Berserkers, as I've said, are a little bit inaccurate with their attacks. So, we're yeah, we're in a reasonably good position now. Except for this guy up here who is gradually dying. And um, I have no medics because we're playing with um, Advent units. And oh, dying down here as well to the poisons too. This could be unfortunate. If we start spawning lots of chrysalids from um, cocoons, I'm not going to be happy. So gonna miss there as, as expected and uh, oh no that would look like an actual hit that's probably gonna be yes that's gonna be fatal is that going to be is that going to turn into a cocoon I think it probably is because it was poison yes yeah, so we've got another cocoon down there that's that's frustrating um, up here somewhere oh over here right there we go we can hack the workstation free action objective complete nice so that's the um, that's the mission complete, and 8,000 points for that. Um, but I'm running a bit low on archons to do the um, to do the, to, to finish off the enemies with. What can we do with you? So you've got you've got a sh half move left, but you. It seems that they right. So I'm starting to learn how these guys move a little bit. It seems they're sort of their big flying thrust takeoffy type moves, where they, which allow them to hop up onto places like this and so on. That count, it's, it's almost like a um, using the grappling hook. So now on his second move, he's not able to get back down again. It seems that climbing is a blue move only thing. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to move him to here, just so he can get back down again. That's awkward, but never mind. Then down here, I guess we actually need to focus fire on the um, on the uh, chrysalid spawner. So let's move... Yeah, uh, once again... It's going to take a, a, um, a yellow move to get up on top of this bus stop. So if I move him across to here. And then fire at the chrysalid spawner. Because I want to take this out. Because if we get more chrysalids, it's just, it's just going to take forever to finish the mission. So we can take seven off with that one. That's a start, I suppose. Move you. So yeah, as I say, the, with, the, with the, sort of the, the flying thing, it's a, it's, a single, it's a single move to get to there. But that's that's it. So it's a sort of a big big impulse thrust like that, and he jumps up a bit like as I say, a bit like the um, uh, the, the grappling hook. And from here we can then shoot the um, cocoon again. Please get a crit and kill it. That'd be really handy. No. Nope. So we need we need to get another hit in on that uh, from up. Oh no, we can't can't do it from up here. So it's boost down to here. I'm hoping that up here they're going to be immune from the berserkers, and we're just going to be able to kill them at our leisure. Um, once we've taken out the crystal, once we don't have the crystals to worry about, I can't remember if berserkers can jump, but I haven't seen any evidence of it yet. Right, so that's the chrysalid cocoon done. Unfortunately, that's going to happen, and we're going to have another cocoon to deal with now, which is rather frustrating. But at least we haven't got a load more chrysalids around. There we go. So yeah, the berserkers can't berserkers can't jump. It turns out that's just what that's that's very fortunate. Okay, so we could pull out, but now at this point, I think we're basically done. We are. Um, we do that if we if we take out this chrysalid cocoon then i think we're about as safe as things get uh oh i've run out of ammunition okay well we can reload and then fire that's that's absolutely fine we've got those two berserkers hidden under the bus stop but as i say they're not a huge danger at this point partly because they're really really bad shots oh and this guy is just kind of immobilized up how are you so trapped up here what is going on why are you so bad at moving 
Uh, why is it going to take? Why is it going to take two movements to get to here? I don't understand. I maybe I moved him to the wrong place in the last turn. But let's get to here. We are going to have to kill another chrysalid next turn, which is awkward because we don't really have the firepower. Oh, great! More berserkers. <laughs> okay. I might be in trouble now. I wonder if Blazing Pinions hits other Archons, because if not, we could just start calling that in on, on the bus stop and blow up the whole area. Oh, um, this guy's getting such getting a serious beat down. Oh, and there's a third one as well to come in and make things even worse. Okay, he can't attack them, so it could be a lot worse. There we go, we've got a Chrysalid. We've got a Disorientated Archon right over here. Let's kill the Chrysalid. Uh, okay, let's reload and then kill the Chrysalid. Two of these guys, 99% to hit. We shouldn't have any trouble killing the, um, in the individual one. Wait. That was not the en enemy I meant to go for. Okay, because it's come right. It's come up here to play. Come, to, come up to play with us. Um, this is not going quite, quite so well. That was a, a mistake that last turn. But, oh, okay. Oh, of course. Yes, chrysalids that come out of spawners are significantly weaker. I'd forgotten about that. Uh, this Archon needs to needs to get away. Um, I can't. I don't have any aerial anything that I can do. Oh yes, I can. I can. I can't blaze. Oh, he can't blazing pinions because he's disorientated from being punched too much. Um, if I come over here, he's probably going to get attacked by the um, berserkers under here. So instead, what if we flee this way? And I'm hoping that this is going to be enough of a movement away from the berserkers that they won't be able to hit it in their next turn. Let's try that. I guess we'll, f we'll find out now. So they're going to roar and they're going to charge forwards. Oh dear! No, this. Is oh no, no! I take it back. I think I think we might have managed to just stay out of, out of range of them. So if we can kite them over to or blazing pinion them or something like that, then oh no, that will manage to get a punch in. That's unfortunate. Can we lose the disorientation or disorientation, please? I would like to do a break. Yes, there we go. So, but I still can't blazing pinions for some reason. Oh, probably because I'm underneath stuff. So, let's run to here. So we'll just kite them back and forth a bit. We can move a bit better, a bit more um, reliably now because he's not so, uh, yeah, he's not disorientated. So that should put him out of range. These Archons, I want to hit this thing with, I want to hit this bus stop with a double, double blazing pinions effect. Um, because I think that'll then wreck it sufficiently to do damage to the, um, the guys underneath. And if I do that with the other Archon as well, then hopefully we'll do quite some quite severe damage to them. And admittedly to the bus stop, but you know, that's that's fine. And then maybe we can just get up on top of the uh, railway lines here and and, uh, and and shoot down from there. So he's moved a little bit. I think he might have got out might have got outside the blast radius, I'm not quite sure. Oh no, they've both moved, both moved back into it. That's excellent. That's just what I want. I think. And what's the other group of them going to do? Oh, come on. Finish. <laughs> How many times can you move in confusion? Alright, so these guys come over here as well. They're going to all bunch up around this Archon, who can then next turn. He can do a Blazing Pinions as well. Again, gets the, this gets them out of the way. It would be nice to get into a position where I can take pot shots, but at the moment, we're being a little bit reactive, unfortunately. So yeah, they don't get an attack they move so far. There goes one Blazing Pinion, and a second Blazing Pinion. So we killed one of them. I I think we might have... Did we damage our Archons? I, I honestly can't tell from this. I'm hoping not. Right, so you're just going to do the same again. There's no no imagination needed here at all. Just want to drop some um, shenanigans on them from above. And then if I can have another go over here. Right, so you're, you're in a fire. That's um, helpful. And we've got one, one Berserker left. I think we can kill that because we do about... We do about 7 to 8 damage and it's got 13 health. So between the two of them, this should be a guaranteed kill. Well, uh, I say guaranteed. That with the 99% accuracy ratings, it might not be quite guaranteed. But it's pretty good. There we go. So that's another berserk. Oh, we got, we, got, we got a crit then, which we didn't really need. But, you know, I'll, I'll take it. So, now down to just these three over here who are going to stand around and go... No, they're going to come charging over and go... Oh, that's annoying. I was hoping they'd just hang around and get pinioned, but apparently not. 
So this is the problem with Blazing Pinions and, and what makes it not too ridiculously OP when you encounter it in uh, in single player. Is that when it happens, the um, the enemies then can... Um, you, you, you get a turn to move away, basically. Can we do another Blazing Pinions? No, there's a one turn cooldown on that. Can we get up, up here? Yes, we can. Problem is, as we saw before, we didn't get very good shots from there. So let's actually, let's come up here instead. And we can start taking, ideally, we can start taking pot shots from here. But not until next turn, it turns out. So you can come up here as well. And I don't think the Berserkers are get, going to be able to get up here. So I'm going to use the, uh, having flying, flying units at my disposal very much against them. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but he got up there, so I'm not going to complain too much. This is where the Berserkers all come inside the building and take cover, and we can't see them, isn't it? I, I, I can just tell. Yes, yeah, so they've all gone into hiding now. Which, admittedly, smart. Oh, and one of my Archons has caught fire, because he was in a flame down... some flames down there. Why are you pointing the camera over there? I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't have a hunker down option, so he's just going to have to stay on fire, which is rather unfortunate. Um... Right, you've got the option to move over to here, so we'll take that. Can you now see the enemies? You can't. Oh, for goodness sake. If they've gone inside the building, I don't, I, I don't know what, I don't know how we're going to get at them without getting too close and getting generally general abuse from them. So let's, we'll put, stick them on Overwatch up there. In fact, let's... Let's move over here as well with one more. Sure, why not? And... Then just put everyone on Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch? Oh, you're... The one who's on fire can't go on Overwatch, presumably because he's on fire. Uh, sure. Alright. I can't hunker down, though, so I can't put the fire out. So this, this, this Archon might just burn to death uh, because I can't do anything about it, which is frustrating. Okay, here we have an Overwatch shot. Boom. So that's a third of the... This is going to take forever to finish them off. I don't care if you're enraged. It's not big. Nobody's impressed. So we then again we've got two of them underneath. Uh, only one from the burning. Does that mean the fire is starting to go out? I am not sure. Okay. So, oh yeah, Archon is now no longer burning. Excellent. So we can start. We can start actually properly shooting now. So two of these will hopefully be able to kill that um, Archon down, that that Berserker down there, um, and then we'll decide what to do with the third one. It might take all three of them if we roll low, uh, and I think we have. Yeah, we're not going to get a kill on the, with this shot unless we get a crit. Rolled low again. I mean, but at this point, it doesn't actually matter whether we roll high or low because it's going to—it's not going to be a kill either way. So we'll uh, we'll reload and then just take the shot from here. This is, yeah, this is the same sort of things I was saying um, last week with the with, the, with the, when I had the uh, collection of sort of snakes and um, uh, sector pods and so on. Is that they're not? Is that the aliens don't have the damage output that the humans do? Oh, they're going to climb up the... Uh, yes, they're climbing up the po pole over here. That's kind of a good thing. Um, I think. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, unfor actually, given there's two of them, it's not such a good thing. Because we can't, uh, we, can't, we, we can't kill them both on this turn. However, what if we have absolutely everybody do blazing pinions? Then they'll all be up in the air like this. So they'll be out of reach of the berserkers. Um, and then... Uh, and they'll be out of reach of the Berserkers, and when the Blazing Pinions come down, it'll do a huge amount of damage to them both, I hope. We shall see. Um, my concern with this is that the other is that when he, when an Archon's Blazing Pinions land, they then tend to tend to put touch down themselves. So we might be blowing up our own troops in this as well. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. So those they stand there in a sort of a, a fit of confusion because suddenly they haven't got anything to punch. And then, eventually, their turn will come to an end. <laughs> uh, no, please stay inside the uh, blast radius. Thank you. Berserkers aren't too smart, so they don't recognise these lights. There we go. So the first one hits, takes off seven health from each one. Second one hits, does... Oh yeah, yes, it is also damaging my Archons as well. So that's... that's a shame. But, it has made... Yeah, it's killed one of them. But the other two are now extremely killable. Uh, we're right next to them. Though they are enraged, yes, we don't, we don't really care. We're in a battle frenzy, which does... I don't know what. What does battle frenzy do? Uh, gaining an extra action. It's not gaining me an extra useful action, though, is it? it could, because I can't, I'm can't. i not, not able to do much with it apart from... I can, I, oh, I can move over to here and shoot. Let's do that, just in case. 
just in case the worst happens and things go badly wrong with the shooting part. Now, with Mistlia, that gives us only an 87% to hit, which could be better, but also could be a lot worse. Where are these crits when I need them, honestly? So, one enemy down, one to go, I hope. Uh, yeah, let's let's move over here just in case this misses. It's a guaranteed kill on a hit, but I should oh, I should have checked the numbers before I before I, before I fired. Uh, 87. Come on, there we go. That's what we needed, and I think that's all of the enemies. Yes, it is. There we go. So we've got two surviving soldiers. Not amazing. So there are a couple of things I could have done differently here. I think if I'd gone for the um, the MacGuffin a little bit sooner from the beginning, and also made sure I only kited, only only activated one pod at a time, might have been able to take out the chrysalids first, first uh, without before before alerting the second pod. So yeah, I've only got about half the maximum available points here. So I think this is going to be another one where I'll try it again, and we'll um, and we'll see how it goes. So, this time, I'm just going to charge all of them forwards, and, but keep them all over on the right-hand side. And hopefully, this means I'll be able to move them up and then only trigger one of the pods, staying, basically trying to stay out of the way of the other ones. So there we go, there's one of the pods spotted, but I can't do a lot more this turn. So ne in the next turn, I'll drift over and have a, have a look for them. And there we go, spot yes, they're, they're, so they're spotted. And I can take a pot shot at one of them. The problem is, this now leaves that Archon in range of the Chrysalids. So they can run forwards, like that. And then if they move again in the next turn, they'll be able to get him. The rest of my Archons, well, I can move some of them up onto the top of this bus stop here. Uh, the problem is, for some reason, we can't see the, um, the, the, the Chrysalids from up here, which is a bit frustrating. Still, it's a nice safe place to put them, so I'm going to stick four of them up there. This final one, I, I thought I'd move over here, and the preview said that I would be able to shoot the uh, the chrysalid again, but I couldn't. So I stuck the ones on the top of the bus stop on Overwatch, and they shot the um, the uh, berserker quite heavily on his way out. wasn't enough to kill him, unfortunately. But the problem is, the berserker goes first, and then the chrysalids. So I didn't have any um, any reaction fire left for them, and they were able to come out and yeah, basically ser quite seriously injure one of my archons. It's a bit unfortunate. However, now I'm in a really good place, so I can finish off that chrysalid I wounded in the previous turn, and then the rest of my guys up on top of the bus stop can then finish off the second one and probably kill the uh, berserker as well. One down. Or two down, rather. And yes, the berserker's less dangerous, but we might as well finish him off, because we can. Next, I think I need to move across, so we'll see if we can find the other uh, other set of enemies. There's the uh, there's the MacGuffin, there's the objective, so we'll get that one in, in as soon as we can. Um, also, if I move a little bit further forward, hopefully we'll, maybe we'll trigger the other pod. I mean, I'm, at this point, I'm not quite sure whether I want to, want to or not. So there they are, they're really, really close, which is a bit weird, because, um, well, I don't know, they just... I should feel like I should have seen them earlier. But let's stick a blazing pinions on them anyway, because uh, it, gets, it gets that Archon out of the way, so he's safe at least for another turn. Or two turns, rather. From here, well, we're all sort of a bit of a distance away. We've got this one down here who's rather heavily poisoned and can't do a great deal. Um, so we'll stick them all on Overwatch uh, over here uh, and see what the um, see what these, these enemies do. They all seem to shuffle around a little bit over here. The Berserker isn't really sure what to, what to do. One of my Archons did manage to take a pot shot to Chrysalid, which is fantastic. But then the Chrysalid was able to come over and kill the other, uh, k kill the already wounded um, Archon, which is a bit of a shame. Conveniently, all of the uh, berserkers now sort of come lumbering over this way and all decide they want to ha hang out where the, in, in the pretty lights. Maybe they're having some sort of berserker disco. Um, and so, they take a huge amount of damage, enough to kill one of the chrysalids and do a serious amount of damage to all the, uh, uh, to all the berserkers down there. Uh, which enrages them, predictably. So now we'll run away with the, um, with, with, the, with the Archon over here because I do need to get the... Um, I do need to complete the, uh, the plot element. But first, let's, let's take out the dangerous one first. We've got a chrysalid over here. That one's very very dangerous. We'll, we'll kill that because it's alive. That's because it's already moving around. But we can leave the chrysalid uh, spawner alone because it's only going to churn out one per turn. And we can farm those for uh, for points. We'll take some pot shots at these berserkers as well because well because we can, at least with the, with the, the uh, archons that can see them. I don't think we're going to get a kill out of this. Oh, no, no, I take it back. We are going to get a kill out of this. And uh, that's taken it down to, I think, only three, uh, three, yeah, three berserkers left over there to deal with. So, we'll fly up over here now and try and com complete the actual mission. We can hack the workstation up here. 
And my hope at this point was that the um, the, uh, the remaining berserkers would uh, wander over towards my uh, archons on the bus stop. But unfortunately, they decided to go off and investigate the one over here. So it's a bit of a shame. Um, and they're quite they're, they're they're quite speedy. Fortunately, that attack missed. That was very lucky. I can't. I'm still up horrified at how far that berserker was able to move. Um, it, I'm sure that's not normal. But anyway, we now have another crystal to deal with. Um, and we want to get that Archon out of, the, out of the danger zone as well. So down here, we can take out the Chrysalid. Because it's just come out of a spawner, it's got much less health than the normal ones. So we can kill that very, very easily. Stick the rest of them on Overwatch. And down come the Berserkers. And as it gets close up to close to my Archon, everybody else opens fire with varying levels of success. And there we go. That's a kill. So we'll never know whether it's going to be able to attack or not. <laughs> And now the other two come down as well. They come running over, but fortunately I moved the Archon far enough that they can't attack when they get down here. So the Archon is still safe. Another Chrysalid, and that's the end of the spawner, I think. Yes, it is. We, again, we can kill that one nice and easily. And uh, then start shooting at the... Uh, and then everybody... Well, we can do, do a load of reloading. But it looks like they're actually... Weirdly, they're slightly, they're, they're slightly out of range or out of sight of some of the Archons. So I'll bring mine over, my, other, my um, kiting one over to here. Do some reload, a bit of reloading, because everyone's got empty magazines at this point. Um, and then I think stick them on Overwatch. So as, as, the, uh, as the Berserkers start to come chasing over this way to, to attack the, uh, the kiting Archon, we can bring them down fairly quickly. Right. Just like that. third one then and we can't kill that one we've run out of over overwatches so we'll have to leave that one to wander down there quite cleverly it then went into cover behind the bus stop which is the smartest thing i think i've ever seen a berserker do uh fortunately we can still get a couple of shots in it well we can get one shot in from up there and then moving this guy over here we can finish him off with a shot from the side 94 percent and boom so that went a lot better than the last attempt. Um, I'm not honestly not sure how I could have saved the first Archon because by the time we triggered the pod, they were he didn't have enough movement left to well to move away at all because he, he fired to trigger them. Maybe there maybe we could have got him up on top of the railway, but I did play around with this a little bit more as well, and it's quite difficult to just activate one of the pods and not get the one in the middle as well. I did do another try as well where the extra pod of three berserkers um, disappeared somewhere into the bowels of the map and I had to spend ages running around chasing them. But out of the, I think it was four attempts at this mission, including the first one that you watched earlier, this is by far the best one. 33,000 points. I think I'll take that. That's a pretty good score. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week for another one of these. Bye-bye.